We're going to start our stretch sequence by first connecting with the breath. Come into a cross-legged position, or Sukhasana. Thumb and first finger press together, palms up, shoulders wide, lengthen the spine and close your eyes. And then here, just bring your attention to your breath, allowing the breath to travel in through the nose, all the way to the pit of the belly, and then traveling out of the nose. Notice the belly naturally drawing in. Whilst you're here, staying rhythmical with your breath, allow your shoulders to soften, hips to relax, inner thighs too. We're going to take one more breath round here. And then drop your eye line downwards so you can blink your eyes open. Then you're bringing your head back up and we're going to stay with that breath as we go into some basic side bends. Exhaling, dropping the elbow down to the floor on one side, inhaling to cross the middle. Exhale, relax the inner thighs, drop the elbow downwards. Try to stay sat on both sitting bones, even though they won't necessarily be evenly weighted. You can work at your own pace, with your own breath lengths. One more to each side. And then we're coming back to the centre. Just place your hands on the insides of your knees if you need to have a shuffle about or a re-lengthen, now's a good time. We're then going into a basic twist. So we're going to take one hand to the outside of the knee, reaching around with your other hand, lengthen through the spine as you inhale, and then exhale. Gently draw yourself around into that twist and we're holding in for four breaths. We're going to come around across the centre, breathing in, lengthening all the way. Exhale, other side. Four breaths. We're then going to have our legs facing down the mat, long spine, and we're going to bring one foot up the inside of one straight leg, okay? So you might want to just shuffle around again to make sure that your hips are facing the end of the mat. Once you're comfortable, lengthen out through your heel, then we're going to take the arms out to the side and up, inhale. As you're exhaling, we're going to reach forward if you grab onto your leg, your ankle, your foot, it doesn't matter. But whatever you grab onto, then drop your head down, holding for four breaths.
We're coming out of this stretch on an inhale. As you exhale, this foot's now coming up onto the top of the thigh. And we're going to use the hand that's on the same side to just gently pulse that knee towards the floor. Relax the shoulders and it's full breath once again. Try to stay lengthened in your spine and relaxed in your shoulders. Once you've reached the end of your fourth exhale, both of the hands are going behind your back. And then as you inhale, slide this foot in so you can place the foot flat. And then let that knee just drop slightly out to the side. Then we're still working with this one. It's the same action. You're just working that knee out to the side to find some space in the hip. Shoulders stay down, four long, slow breaths at your own pace. Again, it's when you're ready, but on an inhale, we're going to slide that leg away and take the arms up. Exhaling, you're coming into forward bend once again, but we're leaving the foot in place. Drop the forehead down towards the knee, four breaths. exactly the same thing on the other side so when you're ready this foot is coming up the inside of your straight leg make sure that your hips are square to the end of the mat and then when you're ready inhale lengthen up exhaling forward bend four breaths On the inhale, exhale, foot comes onto the top of the thigh, and then you're in for four breaths with a gentle pulse. Again, we're just working that knee outwards. So this knee, remember, drops to the side. And then this one, gently opening for full breath. Sliding the leg away and taking the arms up, inhale, exhaling, forward bend.
on an inhale when you're ready. Then sending the other leg out again. Maybe you want to rub the knee. Or just give you like a bit of a shake out. Put the feet together and we're going into one last forward bend with these straight legs. Inhale, take the arms up, lengthen. Exhaling, coming into Paschimottanasana. Four breaths again. When you're ready to come out of this one, come out of it on an inhale. Relax the shoulders, lengthen up. Let your body settle for a moment before we change position again. So we're back round sitting this way around. We're bringing the soles of the feet together. Knees drop out to the side and we're going to take a hold around the little toe side of each foot. If you're feeling particularly bendy, as you come forwards, the elbows need to go in front of the shins. And we're dropping the weight to the head forward and relaxing down into butterfly pose. Four breaths. Coming out of it when you're ready on an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to stretch the legs out wide. So wherever you feel comfortable. When you're ready to take your next exhale, we're going to take it forward. So you might find you just want to take your hands to the floor. If you can, you can come down onto your elbows and lace your fingers together. If at this point you feel like you can go further, you can just start to stretch your arms out along the floor, relaxing down to wherever you feel most comfortable. Just stay with your breath. Take yourself out of it carefully on an inhale. Bring your legs together slowly on an exhale. And then again, you might want to give them just a little shake to release the hips off before we change position. We're then coming to here. So our feet are wide towards the edges of the mat. And you're bringing your heels in just to touch the tip of your middle finger with your palms flat on the floor. From here, on an inhale, send your hips straight up towards the ceiling. So they're opening through the hips and sending the knees away. As you're exhaling, we're coming down through the spine, one bone at a time. Pay particular attention to working through your lower back. And then relaxing down onto the sacrum. Inhale, lifting up. Exhaling. Softening down. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure as you go up and down, you maintain a sense of length through the back of the neck. Two more. At the end of your last one, bring your knees into your chest, hug them in tight and have a little roll from side to side across your lower back. into your chest and rocking from side to side. Take your arms out to the side and then take a breath in at centre. Exhaling, you're dropping the knees and feet in one direction, your head turns the other way. Softening down, you can use this hand just to draw the knee across if it feels right and holding for four breaths. on an inhale, hug your knees in once again and spend a moment settling here before we change position once again. And so now we find ourselves in table pose, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips and we're going up for cat cow. Starting with the inhale, send the chest forwards, lift the tailbone, slide the shoulder blades down the back of the body. And then as you exhale, round the spine, sending the middle part of your back towards the ceiling and your head towards the floor. We're going to keep this flowing. Inhaling, one direction. Exhaling, rounded spine. Try and avoid gripping in the backs of your legs and your buttocks, particularly on the cat stretch. Last one here. But we're gonna go into that cow dog tilt here, inhaling, tuck the toes under, as you then exhale, we're going up into downward dog, plant your hands, plant your feet, and then we're going to pedal the feet, so you're bending one knee, squeeze the other heel into the mat, to increase the sense of stretch through the calf, the back of the knee, back of the leg a little bit more, tailbone lifted towards the ceiling, Face from the armpit all the way through to your fingers, chest pressed towards the knees, stay smooth with your breath. Finishing by sending both heels down at the same time on an exhale. Inhale and hold. As you then exhale, we're going to take the knees down and flatten out the feet. Keep your breathing. 
feeling consistent. We're now going to take the hands over to one side of the mat. So I've gone to the left side of the mat so that my right foot can come through to the top of the mat. This is an easy transition. If you know the alternative to just step through from downward dog, you can do that. Um, but if you're not familiar with it, then this is the easier one. Hands are going either side of the front foot. And now we're working into the left hip. Make sure that the knee is over the ankle, shoulders back, back of the neck long, four breaths once you're in. your shoulders and if you want to you can rock the arms from side to side holding it here four long slow breaths
We're then going to come to here next. Hand, knee and foot all in line on the mat. And from here, we're inhaling, taking the arm up to the ceiling and then exhale, take it over for a big side stretch for four breaths. come out of it, send the leg away and turn so that you're turning round to face the mat and then you can smoothly lower so that you're lying on your front. Take your legs away from each other a little bit and have the hands either flat or on your fingertips. We're going up to Cobra on an inhale. So, shoulders down, lengthening through the spine, inhaling up, and then exhaling down. Last one here. And once you've finished your last one, you can use your hands or your elbows to push yourself up and back into a very relaxed pose of a child to finish. 